The University of Pretoria has been a great partner uh, when it comes to us showcasing our work and uh, the career paths that we offer. So the purpose of today is to basically showcase our work and also advertise correctional services as the employer of choice. We meet with the students and uh, communicate with them and offer them the information that they need in order to qualify to become a chaplain, for an example. The students have been very excited. Uh, we've had a lot of them who are very curious in terms of the work that we do, specifically as spiritual care. As a theology student, I found the information very useful as it gave me a guide on to what I can do after graduating in the correctional services sector. They think that it's a risky job, but I don't think so. I think you'll be giving back to the community and helping rehabilitate those that have wronged. We were invited by the Department of Theology and Religion and they wanted us to be able to share with the students what we do. We offer counselling and we also offer opportunities for training. Department of Correctional Services, we work with them when they have an offender program and then they let us know so we get involved in reconciling families in terms of victim and offender when they are coming out. So it's a case of helping them understand that their actions have consequences and working through the consequences. They have healed and they have rehabilitated and they are ready to come out. The challenge is for the person and the people outside. They haven't had that opportunity to be able to work through a process of healing and forgiveness themselves. And that's where our work is so important and it comes in. I want to find out what other things can I do outside from being a pastor necessarily because that's why I'm studying theology, to discover more about ways I could share the Word of God. Because there's only one side I only see in terms of like people who are uh, prisoners. Like It's just being in prison, the life of being in prison, but I've never seen that side in terms of religion. So that caught my attention, the fact that, you know, there is church in a way in jail. So they are hearing the Word, they are he like receiving whatever they need like spiritually. The chaplaincy is a calling, a ministry by presence, a ministry by weight. It's a ministry in different situations. In the chaplaincy service, we are dealing with different faiths uh, that one needs to appreciate, one needs to respect, and also need to understand how they operate. You don't come in the chaplaincy and impose your own doctrine and your own understanding of Christian faith. The chaplain service then comes in to deal with the spiritual and ethical uh, uh, aspect of the soldiers and of all the people that are involved in the military. We are a multi-religious uh, unit that ensures that everybody's rights are not uh, trampled on. So each and every offender has got an opportunity to get to be served by the spiritual care. So we've got the students that come immediately from the Faculty of Theology who come and visit our store and they've shown great interest, uh, not only in the uh, Spiritual Care Directorate but also in the, in the whole Department of Correctional Services. 